Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? All right, give me one second here. I'm gonna pause this. Um, all right, thank you. Yeah, so, so I wanted to do this video really quick because, um, you know, a lot of times on my videos, you know, some people are asking me that they, you know, sometimes I speak and uh, they might not understand the terms that I use or, you know, some of the words or, you know, some people just might not know what, like, some of the things that I speak about, they might not know what they are. So I wanted to, I wanted to clarify or, you know, just go over some of the, some of the things that I say on my, uh, my other videos. So I have a few of them here that I, that I want to, you know, basically just give like an explanation about. So the first one is, uh, if people don't know what fasting is, fasting is actually when you, um, when you, uh, don't consume any, anything that has calories that would be considered a fast basically when you're not consuming calories is a is, is a fast and then there there is a there's dry fasting right and then there's wet fasting dry fasting is when you um when i mean of course you're not consuming any sorts of calories you're not eating at all but on a wait did i say dry fasting yeah so on a dry fast is that you're you're not even uh, drinking any fluids at all like no calories and no water so basically on a dry fast is uh, basically a fast without water and then there's a wet fast right and then uh, on a, a wet fast is basically when you do when you drink at least water and actually another thing I want to talk about is the snake diet or me being a snaker a lot of times I you know I use the word snaker or snake diet the snake diet is a, it's a basically a, a, a fasting routine designed by this guy named Cole Robinson, which I follow. If you know, if you guys want to check him out, he's great. I mean, if you, if you're trying to lose weight, or if you're trying to gain muscle, or you're trying to heal something, fasting is a great way to, to, to better your health. All right. So the snake diet is, uh, is basically is a, uh, it has to do with fasting either either wet fasting or dry fasting and then sometimes I speak about snake juice right the snake juice is basically it's a, it's basically water mixed with uh, electrolytes which uh, you know these are these electrolytes is what we need during a, a prolonged fast oh and the other thing is that snakers we prolong fast like we don't that intermittent 18 20 hours a day crap like that doesn't really do much that you know that's not really I mean, you can gain some uh, benefit from it, but it, it's all about prolonged fasting because this is how you get amazing results and this is how you get amazing healing. And prolonged fasting is, is it, I mean, a, a pro, the shortest prolonged fast you could do is 48 hours or 72. So, is it, you know, it, it, this is the, these are the kind of routines that the snake diet promotes. And actually, the snake diet right now has gone carnivore. Like, even Cole Robinson himself, he, um, he tells people that you know that the best uh, refeed is uh, is raw meat. I mean, he actually, Cole Robinson speaks a lot about uh, lean lean meat because you know you, people have to understand that Cole Robinson is a weight loss coach. Like Cole Robinson emphasizes in weight loss. Like you're just trying to lose weight, you're trying to get shredded, trying to you know burn fat. So this is why. This is why he recommends, and, and it is it, that would be the best that that would be the best uh, refeed on a on a on a snake diet routine is lean meat because it's it's gonna preserve your muscle and it and it's and basically you're gonna stay at a caloric deficit so you're gonna be burning nothing but fat. This guy's amazing, man. For just you know, if people are trying to get fit, or if, I mean for everything, man. Like I mean, I, I man, like everything this guy talks about is like this guy is like truly amazing. All right. So another thing I wanted to talk about was the the Lewy body dementia, right? That's it's a disease, and you know I mean I'm not like I haven't like you know I'm not like <laughs> like I can't I I wouldn't be able to go into like scientific terms and like explaining like why or or who or you know you know regarding like diseases, but I mean I can tell you this much that Lewy body dementia is basically associated with um, associated with uh, with what's the with Alzheimer's and also with the Parkinson's disease and basically all these like diseases uh, are associated with uh basically with with our insulin is cuz with their insulin spikes because people do not eat properly 
like people overeat on carbohydrates and it's like it's crazy so it's like you know they have all these new diseases and you know they have these like fancy names and basically it's just like our body's reaction to bad to malnourishment to bad nutrition and actually you know and some people say that even like being overweight is not healthy like you're not you just like fat people are basically just like a walking garbage can like they're just full of like toxic like they're like there's all that fat is like it has it, it's toxic uh fat like it's not there's nothing good about it and you know so so that's why people are diabetic and basically all these diseases are caused because of um because of uh, hormonal deficiencies like people's hormones don't even work right like how they're supposed to because they they don't People don't eat right, so therefore their hormones don't work right, and uh, therefore that's why they get sick, and that's why they get all these crazy diseases like dementias and Parkinson's and uh, what's the other one called? Snap, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and all these crazy diseases, and it usually happens when they get older, because you know, when you're younger at least, you know, your body of you know you're like your, your immune system and all that and you're not as bad but then as soon as you start getting older like over the years of just bad you know bad eating bad dieting you you know your body just you know, it doesn't it can't handle it anymore and that's when you start getting all these crazy diseases and actually we were meant to live for like 150 years i believe and what's like the life expectancy now like people are dying at like I'm not even sure, I'll, I should have looked it up online, but I believe it's like 60 or like 70 or like 80 max. Like, you barely see someone living to 100, and we're supposed to live to 150 years of age. And, you know, so our life is expectancy is like cut down by basically half, you know. And it's like you see these people, and it's like, it's funny because I actually I just shared a video of this like 70 year old lady, and she's actually healthy. And I, I bet you, if you ask that lady what she eats, like I guarantee you she eats like her it's high on um animal products because that would be the only way she's like 70 years old and she's doing like squats and uh and crunches and she's like oh my god she's like really fit and she's a old she's like 70 years old I actually shared it on Facebook and this is how we all should be but because we don't eat properly that's why everybody's sick all right another thing I want to talk about is Narcotics Anonymous, right? I always speak about Narcotics Anonymous. For the people that don't know what NA or Narcotics Anonymous is, it's basically a program that was, um, it was derived from Alcoholics Anonymous, which is, um, which two, two, uh, two, two people, this, uh, this doctor named Dr. Bill, I don't know his last name, and this other guy were Dr. Bob, I'm not sure which one was the doctor, but it was a guy, it was two, it was two men. One of them, one of them's uh, name was Bill, and the other one, his name's uh, Bob. And they basically, uh, they used to go to these other meetings. I believe it was like the Washington something meetings, or I'm not, I don't know the story like completely. And they, they didn't, uh, for some reason, it didn't work or something. Like they just didn't feel comfortable because of how like the Washingtons did their uh, meetings. So they decided to come up with their own uh, way of running meetings for alcoholics and they invented something called Alcoholics Anonymous. And then this guy Bill, like one day got inspired, kind of like Muhammad did, you know, how like Muhammad one day got inspired supposedly by God and wrote the Quran. So this guy Bill one night or well, one weekend, or I don't know how long it took him, he basically was inspired by God just like Muhammad, which, you know, this is... These are men ra ra rationalizations. Like they, this is just ideas that come from men's mind. So he wrote the twelve steps, right? And actually, the twelve steps are are pretty amazing. Uh, it's a, it's an amazing tool because it does make you reflect on life. But it's a man-made. Uh, they're basically man-made laws, or however you want to put it. You know, so it's like they're ba they're like rules, or they're like things that people have to follow. And we weren't meant to follow anything, you know, we weren't like, you know, th th these are all man-made things. So, yeah, as I said, you know, Narcotics Anonymous is a, basically a program derived from Alcoholics Anonymous, which is a program that was invented for people for, I mean, it was originally made for people that had al uh, problems with alcoholism. And now, you know, it, uh, 30 years ago or something, or 40 years ago, this guy named Jimmy K, 
he didn't feel uh, comfortable in Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, so he decided to to uh, come up with his with his new uh, with his new approach to to you know to the illness because it, it addiction is considered the illness just like alcoholism. So then he invented NA, and it's basically the same thing. It's the same traditions, the same the same steps, and the same concepts. You know, there's uh, like 12, 12, and 12. But that's another story. But yeah, so basically, Narcotics Anonymous is a uh, it's a place for people to for people that have drug problems derived from Alcoholics Anonymous. All right, another thing I want to talk about is the carnivore diet, right? A lot of people don't know what the carnivore. You know, they might not be sure what the carnivore diet is. So basically, there's this one guy. His name is Agenis van der Planis, This doctor. He's, I believe, he's from like California. He's like a, he was like a really sickly child, growing up. And um. And this guy, he's done like so many things, man. This is like the like the one of the biggest guys behind uh, the promotion, or you know, the the telling people about the spreading the you know the the wellness of the of the carnivore uh, diet. You know, this guy like he. I mean, he was actually, he had, like, a lot of uh, people with money, like, um, support him. So he did a lot of research. Like, this guy went all over the world, basically, preaching the carnivore diet. He wrote some books, which, actually, I've been I've been trying to get the books because, I, mean, I mean, I've researched this guy a lot. I haven't actually read the book, but I'm, I'm planning to read it because it's really interesting. I mean, I learned a lot from him. So, basically, the carnivore diet is, a, it's actually the raw carnivore diet. It's a diet that consists of raw products because... Actually, when you add heat to something, when you cook meat, you actually, you're like basically killing like half of the nutritional value. So we were actually meant to eat raw meat. That's, you know, that's like what we were meant to eat. So yeah, carnivore diet is basically a raw, a diet that consists of eating mainly raw animal parts. It's the raw carnivore diet. And another thing I want to talk about is the breatharians, right? The breatharians are these people that supposedly they live only of off of um, off of air, basically. Like they basically dry fast. Like their way of living is basically a dry fast, which means that they get their energy from like the sun or the air. I don't know something like that. Like these people are crazy, man. Like they make no sense. And you know that's why I spoke about. The, uh, I made a video. The breatharians are full of crap because. I, w I would say like 90 or 95 percent of them are just lying and then maybe that five percent that actually does um does you know follow the the breatharian you know way of living they have like this like amazing uh way of connecting themselves to like the sun or the trees or whatever but most of them are just lying because i mean i could tell that just what they say you could I mean, I could tell when a lot of when a lot of people are lying is because, or they're hallucinating, or you know. And it's crazy because if you actually, if, and you know, be it, some of these people could be like almost dying, like they're almost like they're they're at a point where they're like just like really close to death. So if you get to that point, you'll you'll start having some pretty bad hallucinations, and that's why most of them are just like about to die, and that's why they what they say like they, it makes no sense like we need food to survive like people we weren't meant to drive fast like you know or or organisms are designed to like actually eat i mean we were meant to fast but not do like prolonged dry fasting these people are like insane basically all right and the last topic i want to talk about is uh veganism right vegan so for the people that don't know what a vegan diet is the vegan diet is basically these people that um their diet consists of mainly anything that doesn't derive from the animal kingdom, which is plants, basically. If you go vegan, you're eating a lot of soy, which where soy is like so toxic. Like I mean, I mean, it's not actually toxic the one you get, but the uh, like soy before it was genetically modified, like wild soy, I guess you could call it, is actually like really toxic. Like they had to had to go through this crazy process in order for us to eat it. And I mean, we do get calories from it, but it's really like it's it's been genetically modified. Like it's not we don't anything that comes from the from the uh, plant kingdom we don't digest it properly. We're not we weren't meant to eat all plant foods, and that's exactly what the vegan diet promotes. It you know, and they're always talking about how like uh, animal farming and how cruelty to animals, and it is true. Like you know, the 
there is, there is a lot of cruelty in um in animal farming, but it's because you know it's a it's a long story. It's because people don't fast, people overeat, and um yeah, like it just and if people didn't if people's diets weren't so bad, we could actually have some like pretty decent uh organic uh, farm grown uh, animals like actually here in Colombia I live in Colombia we have really good like this is like this would be like a this is like a, a paradise for 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 a person on a raw carnivore diet all right my memory is about to run out so and actually that was the end of the video thanks for watching